Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to find an element or a group of elements using tag name. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, in order to find an element or a list of elements using the tag name, we have to use something known as by dot tag underscore name. Okay, here is how we have to use driver.find element by dot instead of by dot id by dot name by dot class name by dot xpath by dot cs selector we have to use by dot this part guys okay by dot tag underscore name okay and here we have to provide the html tag so if you want to find only one element with the help of tag name you have to use find element okay you have to use find element otherwise if you want to locate multiple elements then you have to use find elements in the find elements also we can use by dot tag name guys okay let me practically demonstrate this for you so that it will be very easy for you to understand for that i'll switch to this pycharm id so this is the code i have written for demonstrating the previous session guys okay now let me clear up this code guys okay i don't want all this code i'll just uh, clear up all this code here i'm going to open the firefox browser this statement will open the firefox browser and this will uh, maximize the browser window and this will open the application url Okay, let's say this is the application URL. Omaya.blogspot.com. Once you are taken to this uh, page, once you are taken to this page, let's say I want to find uh, only one element uh, with the help of tag name. Okay, so here there is a text area field. Inspect this. If I inspect this uh, text area field like this, let me drag it a bit down. Okay, let me inspect this text area field. And for this text area field, this is HTML code, guys. Okay. If I have to locate this text area field, I have to use the tag name as text area, guys. Copy this. Let's see whether I can do any operation on this text area field with the help of tag name. Or I don't know whether uh, in this application there's only one text area field or multiple text area field. Let me find out first. Control F, double slash, text area. You see, two are coming. That means there are two. Second one is the cat was playing in the garden. The first one is text area field this is the first one so even though this particular xpath expression is able to retrieve two text area fields or this tag name has two text area two text area fields the first one will be given the preference okay when you use find element so i'll simply use that driver dot find element by dot here i'm going to use tag underscore name with the help of the tag name of the okay with the help of the html tag name of the element i want to locate the element guys for that i have to use by dot tag name so here give double quotes and give text area Text area is a tag name. Okay. What is the tag name of this uh, text area field? Here in the HTML, we have the text area as the tag name. I gave that here. So I will say dot send keys. My name is uh, Arun Motori. Let's see whether my name has been typed into the this particular text area field or not. Let's find it out. Okay. So after that, I'll simply say uh, time dot sleep of three seconds. And before typing, also, I'll give some time for demonstration purpose only. And finally, I'll say driver dot driver dot quit guys okay let me run this code right click run first it will open the firefox browser then maximize the browser window then it will open the application url after three seconds it is going to type my name is arun motor into this particular text area field guys okay let's see that happening let the firefox browser launch let it maximize let it open the application url that is omai.blogspot.com after that let's see this let's focus on this text area field it should type my name is Arun Motor into you see my name is Arun Motor got typed into this text area field after three seconds it will close. So we are able to use by dot tag name with this find element command. Okay. So in this case, uh, by dot tag name will only locate though it is capable of locating multiple elements. Since we are using this with the uh, find element, it will locate the first element, guys. Okay. After the two elements, what are the first element is there in the HTML code from top to bottom? That element will be taken into consideration. So now let's go with another example, guys. Uh, you see on this web page, there may be a lot of hyperlinks, right? Uh, there will be a lot of uh, hyperlinks. Okay, everything is a link. For example, Selenium 143, inspect this. Anchor tag will be there, right? Anchor tag. So like there are many hyperlinks may be there. Okay, I can go to the selectors of also and say double slash A and press enter. Total 27 links are on this page, guys, okay? For oh, under blocks also, you see each and everything is hyperlink here. This is hyperlink, page one is hyperlink. Post atom is hyperlink, Selenium 143, the Selenium tutorial, the Selenium 143, open a pop up window, everything. You see this blogger. Then what else we have? The right side, you see these five hyperlinks are getting located. 
So most of the hyperlinks on this page are getting located, guys. Okay, that is the 27 hyperlinks are there. So if I want to locate all these hyperlinks with the help of the tag name, for all the hyperlinks, what will be the tag name, guys? This A is the tag name, right? So I can do that instead of uh, writing double slash find elements. Earlier we have we were writing like this, okay, to find all the elements uh, using the XPath expression, all the hyperlinks if I would find. Earlier I was writing by dot XPath here, and in the double quotes I was giving double forward slash A. Like this, I was giving earlier, right? Like this, this XPath expression I was providing here to find the all the hyperlinks on the page. Now, for a difference, with this find elements to locate all these hyperlinks, uh, elements having the uh, el element hyperlinks on this page, all the hyperlink elements on the page. There's another way, guys. Instead of by dot XPath, I will be using by dot by dot what tag name. And here, instead of giving the XPath expression, give it, give only the tag, name of the tag, anchor tag. That's it. Now. Find elements, uh, we'll return you the list of web element. So here I'll write links is equal to links is equal to I'll write logic here. That is uh, I, uh, no need to wait anything here in this example. Simply I'll write for link in links or L in links, whatever you want to write here. Print of link dot get attribute of href. H at, uh, href attribute values of each and every hyper. For example, for this hyperlink, uh, href attribute is adding the value selenium dot blogspot.com. Right? This URL should be printed in the output console. For every hyperlink, whatever the H href attributes you, uh, value that is URL is there, that should be retrieved and printed in the output console. Here we have 27 hyperlinks. Let's see how many will be printed in the output. Run this. So, like this, we can use a tag name either with find element command or find elements command also, guys. In case of find element, only one element will be returned. In case of find elements, uh, multiple elements will be returned. List of web elements will be returned. You see, all the hyperlinks of this uh, 20, uh, whatever that are there, right? Few things are printed as none means that they don't have the href attribute, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one is also counted as 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, around 27. Yeah, 27 are there, guys. Okay. The number is matching also. So, this is how, guys, we have to use a uh, uh, by dot tag name to find the element or elements on the web page. So, that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.